All right, mushroom spawn. What is it? Uh, what's the difference between spawn and spores? What are they used for? for? Why is it important? Let's get into it. So let's talk about nature first. In nature, a mushroom is the equivalent of a flower. It's there for sexual reproduction, but it isn't really the plant itself. A wood-loving fungus, like a typical gourmet mushroom, for example, these king trumpets here that I've got growing indoors, they produce uh, this mushroom fruiting body uh, in order to send spores into the wind, where hopefully they're going to land on a suitable tree and germinate and grow through it. The spores aren't really male and female the way sperm and eggs are, um, but they do have different types. And then they, the different types need to find each other and combine genetic information uh, to continue their cycle of life the way that sperm and eggs need to join uh, with animals. Uh, what's important about this, though, is that those spores are just going out by the millions in the hopes that they end up on something suitable and that the environmental conditions at that time are favorable for them. Uh, and because it's sexual reproduction, each spore has a different random assortment of half of the DNA of the parent. So if you think about DNA as recipes, uh, each adult has two recipes, say two recipes for cookies, maybe one will be oatmeal raisin, one will be chocolate chip, uh, two recipes for soup, maybe one will be miso, uh, one will be chicken noodle, two recipes for bread, etc., etc. They've got two of each, and when they produce those spores, one of each of those recipe types goes with each spore. So in nature, mushrooms are just releasing these random spores with a wide variety of genetic types into the wind in the hopes that they will end up in a place where the right spore lands on the right substrate at the right time with the right environmental conditions and just lottery style you happen to hit the right combination for it to work. That's, that's the strategy and it's a winning strategy in nature. So we could use this same strategy for mushroom cultivation. We could collect spores like we got here uh, or we could purchase a spore syringe from the internet uh, and then we could put these spores into some prepared substrate and see what happens. It's like uh, buying a lottery ticket to see what happens. Maybe you'll win. But for a mushroom grower, that's not really a great strategy because you already know what your conditions are going to be. You don't need to just play the lottery. You know what substrate you're going to be growing on. You know what conditions you're going to maintain your fruiting blocks in. Uh, a better strategy is to find a fungus that grows really well and produces lots of gorgeous mushrooms on that substrate and in those conditions and, uh, and grow that exact individual. That's what mushroom spawn is. It's cloning. Uh, the mushroom spawn is little uh, bits of living fungus that you grow on some substrate, usually sterilized sawdust or grain of some sort. We're using organic wheat uh, here at the Fungal Network. There's no sexual reproduction involved. There's no variation in genetics. So bits of it are initially transferred from a petri dish where they're growing on agar. We've got some growing right here. Uh, that's a culture growing out across the agar. And some of this culture, some of that fungus, is going to get sort of cut up into a jar of grain. You can see there's bits of agar in this grain. It's growing through these grains. Once that individual has grown through the grains. Each one of these grains uh, basically contains a clone of that individual. And if, if you shake it up to separate those grains, now those grains can be put into some new substrate, for example, your fruiting block, and the fungus will grow outwards from them into that substrate. It's 
going to uh, grow in a predictable way. It's going to produce predictable mushrooms, and it'll do it in a predictable time frame because it's all a known genetic individual. That's the difference between spawn and spores.